Hi guys, welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. I want to welcome you if you're visiting my channel for the first time. Tonight I'm going to be sharing some more of my Thanksgiving recipe with you guys. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Hope you will give these recipe a try. They're very delicious and nutritious. And they can be used for any occasion that you wish. So next we're going to move on to our butternut squash soup. Hubby is going to cut this in half and I'll show you how we prepare our butternut squash soup. So next we're going to start seasoning our squash. I'm going to just brush it with some coconut oil on top like that. I'm using half because we have a lot of dishes today and I don't want to make too much. So nicely brush with oil and that's gonna keep all our seasoning in I'm gonna add some salt and I will add some black pepper here nice amount and then we're gonna add some fine thyme on the butternut squash while it's cooking in the oven so I have my oven preheating on 350 degree I'm gonna cook the squash until it's nice and soft and tender and until I can get scoop up the inside so a nice amount here dry time will do as well Today I have fresh thyme, so I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna add, I cut this garlic. I'm gonna roast the garlic as well with the palm butternut squash. I'm gonna brush it with some coconut oil and that's gonna bring out a really delicious soup for us, the roasted garlic with the butternut squash. I will cut about four small onions. I don't have big onions today and I'm gonna brush them as well with some coconut oil. My oven is ready. And these roasted onion and the roasted garlic would give us a very delicious butternut squash soup. And my kids just love butternut squash soup. So, these guys are going in the oven. They will cook faster than the butternut squash. So I'm gonna take them out halfway in the process. And we will continue to cook the squash until they're done. So our butternut squash is done cooking. Look at that. I'm gonna scoop this up now. It smells so nice with the thyme. And my garlic is roasted nicely and the onions so i'm gonna show you guys how i prepare my butternut squash soup i'm gonna scoop up our butternut squash for the soup and look how nice this is nice and soft i'm gonna keep doing that and i want to show you how i did the garlic and the onion so this here nice and soft and I have like a charred um, it's gonna have that nice charred flavor on top I'm just taking the skins off and this will add some real flavor to the soup and the garlic roasted garlic look at that we just squeeze them out like that and they're gonna add amazing rich flavor to our butternut squash soup. So now that I finished scooping up the pumpkin, the butternut squash and the onions and the garlic is right here, the roasted garlic and the thyme, we're gonna add it to our food processor. So we added about two cups of water into the um, food processor and we're gonna puree everything until it's nice and smooth. So now that we finished puree the pumpkin, you can have it like this for your soup, 
but I like to add it to a pot with some hot water and add some more ingredients and make it a more little bit more on the liquid side so I'm gonna add it to a pot with water I already added some and we're gonna make it a little bit more on the liquid side we're gonna mix this in I can see those thyme floating on the top and this is the chance you get to add whatever flavor is missing so I'm gonna go in I should taste it first let me taste that mm. it tastes good but we need salt I didn't add any so one teaspoon of salt we're gonna add some black pepper And you can always add some fresh black pepper when you're serving it as well. So we're gonna mix that. I'm gonna add some dry oregano. And this will really add another depth of flavor to the soup. We're gonna mix this in. It looks like a pot of dal, right? And then the next thing I wanna add, I'm gonna go in with some all-purpose um, seasoning. You can add some ginger in here as well, but today I'm gonna leave the ginger out. You can also add some chicken cubes and it'll give a nice flavor. And let me just taste again. Oh my God, amazing. So I'm gonna let it cook a little bit. I'm gonna put it on low heat and let it simmer until it get a little bit thicker than this. And this is gonna be ready, a nice warm bowl of butternut squash soup before we have our Thanksgiving dinner. It's really delicious. I taste that nice garlic in there. So I wanna taste some of the butternut squash soup mm -hmm. for you guys. This is my favorite and I know Matthew love this too. So I'm gonna go in for a nice big mouthful. And if you guys think I'm not telling the truth, you got the first answer. It is amazing. Mm. That fine thyme and the oregano is just coming through, right? It's really good. <laughs> fresh salad today and Jessica is going to add all the ingredients while I'm telling what we're adding. So in the cup I have four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. If I miss any measurement I will leave the measurement in the description below. So now she's going to add her olive oil And she's gonna add her Dijon mustard. And she will add now her garlic. We are gonna add a clove of grated garlic. Show them the garlic, Jess. Okay, and she's gonna grate that. Be careful when it comes close to your finger, okay? Okay. The next thing we're going to add is the honey. Drain it out on like that. Yeah. You can add some more. Okay. Mm. 
Mm, nice to drain honey, right? Yeah, it's satisfying. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add, okay, let's drain this properly. So she's gonna add the black pepper and we, ju we need just a pinch of black pepper. Oh, Jess, you know how to use this thing quietly more than me. <laughs> well, Jess, you did, did, you did get a lot out of the quiet grating. I have to learn that technique. So now she's going to add a pinch of salt. A little bit more, Jess. Okay. Just like that. Okay. And then we will shake all this goodness up for our fresh salad. So now she's going to give it a good shake. How beautiful that looks. This can make way ahead of time. We're going to prepare the salad. And before, just before serving, we're going to add the dressing. So I'm using some organic spring mix for our salad today i'm just gonna take it out and make sure that the leaves are good and wash some and this is what we're gonna make our beautiful salad that jessica prepare help to prepare that um dressing so everybody loves salad we want to have a good portion right jess yeah you want lots of salad today yeah okay so i think this is good because we still have to add some uh, fruits so now we're gonna cut some pears for the salad and what i love about the salad whether it is fall spring summer you can use the salad even if it's christmas or thanksgiving you can add whatever fruit is in season and you can make it your own signature salad. So I'm gonna cut thin slices of the pear and I'm gonna cut them back in halves and we're gonna add it to our salad. So we have some sweetness in there and we're gonna add some apples. I'm gonna cut the apple in half and this one is gonna add to the salad some crunch and a little bit of tartiness. And I love the green apple in salad. How about you, Jess? Yeah. So I'm gonna keep doing this until I'm done. And I will show you the other ingredients we're adding to this salad. So now I added the raw pumpkin seed to a pan. I'm gonna toast these pumpkin seed until they're nice and brown and crispy. And to know when the pumpkin seed is ready, it's gonna change color and it's gonna start like splattering in or bursting into the pan. And that's when you know that it is ready and it brings out a very nice flavor. So my pumpkin seed has finished toasting. As you guys can see, they're nice and brown and they start like popping. So they're done. I'm gonna turn my stove off. Now let's put our beautiful, crunchy, sweet and savory fall salad together. The second course is a beautiful garden and fruit salad. We're gonna add some cranberry. I'm gonna leave all the measurements in the description below. And we're gonna add our pumpkin seed that we toasted earlier. So in you go. If you have walnuts, you can add walnuts or any nuts of your choice. And it will be a very delicious salad. Now we're gonna shake up back our vinaigrette. And we're going to add this to the salad just before we serve the salad. So, how are you keeping the sun with your friends online? Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, like, we're drenching it oh, here. Okay. And then we're going to mix that up. And this is going to be one crunchy, sweet, tangy, delicious 
salad. Smells amazing. Okay. So Natalie's gonna do the salad te um, test for us, taste test. Mmm. It's crunchy and nice. And I love the dressing. Okay, so Riza, you wanna give us your review on the salad? Oh, let me see here. Pumpkin seed. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How you like? It's good? Guys, perfect. Yeah? Gosh, I love this. This is beautiful. The pumpkin seed has crunch, the apple has a crunch, and, and the leaves are good. Fresh. Plus, she made the um, vinaigrette. Yeah, it's so nice. Thank you guys so much for coming along on my Thanksgiving dinner and all the recipes. Stay blessed, stay safe. Bye for now. Love you guys.